Well, hello. My name is Angela Hooper Minifield of Minifield and Associates, and this is your HR moment for Tuesday, January 21st, 2020. So over the next couple of us videos or a few videos, we're going to talk a little bit about how to treat our employees in a way that helps them feel valued, respected, and really want to work for us. And so what I did was I actually just finished writing a blog. It'll be published today, but we are going to take our HR moments to dig a little deeper in this topic. And the question I pose for you is this. What if you treated your employees like a valued customer? And what made me think about this is recently, you know, out and about, uh, shopping, being a patron of some businesses. And, you know, sometimes you see where clients uh, customers or clients are maybe not behaving in the best manner, right? However, because most businesses adopt the refrain that customers always know best, even though we know they don't, not necessarily anyway, but at the end of the day, many businesses work really hard to keep their customers happy. And why is that? Well, partially because customers have the ability to rate a business, you know, especially in today's time. I mean, this refrain goes back over 100 years, but it's really prominent now because social media, reviews, Google, Facebook lives. I mean, people are documenting their experiences, taking, sh you know, screenshots, tweeting. Um, just recently, we saw the incident with the uh, legal uh, advisor, I believe it was, to the NAACP being asked to move a seat on a, a, a train. I mean, she immediately tweeted that, right? So businesses work really hard to prevent that from happening. The difference is, and typically our employees can't do that. There's probably some rules or regulations that keep our employees from tweeting and documenting Facebook living and things of that nature, some of the um, indiscretions that happen in the workplace. But having said that, what if they could? Now, I'm not saying that they should do it and put a negative light on the business, but I'm asking the question of what if we as supervisors and business owners treated them in a way as if they could, as if it was a possibility they might do it. So in knowing that we would treat them better, we would show them respect, we would value them. And again, with the old adage that the customer is always right, we would say the employee is always right. What would that be like? You know, um, there's a quote from Richard Branson, and I don't know if you all know who he is, but he is the founder of the Virgin Group, and you know that includes Virgin Airlines, Virgin Records, and things like that. But one of his more prominent quotes is, clients do not come first, employees come first. If you take care of your employees, they will take care of your clients. And then he also says, take care of your employees and they will take care of your business. And so that just, again, really made me think, like, what if we took better care of our employees? And so, in an effort to make shorter videos for a host of reasons, as in, you know, where they can post and things like that, I just want to, you know, let you guys know that I came up with about 10 points that I thought really mattered in this arena. And if we would just begin to practice those, then perhaps we would over time begin to treat our employees better. So over the next few days, what we'll be covering is some of the key points from this blog. And of course, you can read the whole blog uh, once I post it later this evening. But let's really just think into as supervisors and again, as managers, how we treat our clients, the people who get to veto us or tell us what they think about our services with ratings, uh, reviews, with their dollars right so that's another incentive for us to keep our clients happy or our customers happy can we begin to see our employees in the same way again i think if we just change that perspective just a little bit we would find that we would up the ante in how we treat them again and i'm not suggesting we treat our employees poorly but if i'm really transparent with you i can tell you when i think about the hierarchy of importance of the of my stakeholders I would typically put that of a client or a customer above an employee. I just think it's human nature because again, we see the immediate results of a dissatisfied customer, reviews, uh, lack of business and whatnot.
Now, employees can resign, but I think we also live in a society where people, especially if they've been in a job for a minute, they just don't quit. It takes a lot, right? So anyway, over the next couple of uh, videos, we'll talk a little bit more, but I want you to ponder. I'd love to hear your thoughts and the remarks. What if you treated your employees as if they were a valued customer? What would that look like? How, what, how would that shift things? So thank you for your time. My name has been Angela, or is Angela Hooper Minifield of Minifield and Associates, and this is your HR Moment for Tuesday, January 21st, 2020. Have a great day. Bye-bye.